When you blow air through a straw into a cup of lime water, something happens. After a couple of breaths, the lime water is just noticeably hazy. After a couple more breaths, the lime water is definitely cloudy. After a dozen breaths, a cup of lime water is as white as milk. What turns the lime water white? Plain air bubbled through lime water does not turn lime water white. Something in your breath does. Carbon dioxide. It is the carbon dioxide in your breath that turns the lime water white. That's not exactly right. Carbon dioxide isn't white, so it doesn't turn the lime water white. What happens is carbon dioxide mixes with something in the lime water to form a white substance. The white substance is not carbon dioxide or lime water. It is a new white substance. What's happening is a chemical reaction. During a chemical reaction, starting substances change into new substances. Starting substances are called reactants. New substances are called products. This is how you read the equation. One part of carbon dioxide and one part of calcium hydroxide react to yield. What could the products be? A set of atom tiles might help make representations of carbon dioxide particles and a particle of calcium hydroxide. You can move the atoms around to make products. An atom tile represent of the equation looks like this. What's left on the reactant side of the equation? Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. These combine to form a particle of water on the product side. Notice that after the reaction has happened, the reactants are gone. They no longer exist. All the atoms that were in the reactants are now in the products. And the number of atoms on the product side is exactly the same as the number of atoms that started on the reactant side. During reactions, no atoms are destroyed or created. Matter is conserved. That means the number of atoms must be the same on both sides of the equation. This is a hard and fast rule. Written with chemical formulas, the lime water equation looks like this. The down arrow by the formula for calcium carbonate means the substance appears as a precipitate. Did you ever see a blimp slowly sailing along overhead? It is an interesting vehicle. It stays aloft by being lighter than air. It actually floats in the air in a way that is similar to a cork floating in water. To make the blimp lighter than air, it is filled with helium, element number two. The blimp is a huge motorized helium balloon. During the 1930s, lighter than aircraft were developed for transportation. One of the largest such craft ever built was the Hindenburg, a 245 meter long, 800 inch hydrogen filled monster. On May 6, 1937, the largest structure ever to fly caught fire. In 37 seconds, the entire massive structure was destroyed. The hydrogen burnt. Burning is a reaction called combustion. The reactants were the hydrogen gas H2 in the Hindenburg and the oxygen O2 in the air. You can use atom tiles to see what products form. Water. When hydrogen burns, the single product is water. But look, something is wrong with the equation. There's only one oxygen atom left out over. How can this be fixed? The solution is to react two hydrogen particles with one oxygen particle to form two particles of water. Here is the balanced equation. The field of modern chemistry grew out of experimental work with the substances called alchemy. One of the goals of early alchemists was to turn common metals into gold. They never succeeded. But changing one metal into another with a simple reaction is possible. If you have a solution of copper chloride, CuCl2, and drop in a piece of aluminum foil, Al, a reaction takes place. When the reaction is complete, the silvery aluminum is gone. In its place is a reddish brown precipitate of copper, Cu, metal, and the solution of aluminum chloride, AlCl3. Look at the reaction equation. There is a problem. Do you see it? The chlorine atoms are not balanced, so it is not possible for one particle of each re reactant to react. If you start with two CuCi2 particles, then you have four chlorine atoms. That's too many. To balance the equation, you need to start with three CuCl2 particles and two Al particles. The balanced equation looks like this. The particles of all substances are made of atoms. The kind, number, and arrangement of atoms determines the kind of substance. New substances are created during chemical reactions. During reactions, atoms rearrange. The atoms and the particles of reactant substances rearrange to form the particles of products. Reactions can be described with equations. Substances and equations can be recorded with atom representations or chemical formula. Reaction equations must be balanced. The number of atoms of each kind must be equal on both sides of the equation. Balance is achieved by changing the number of particles reacting. Matter is conserved. Particles of substances are created and destroyed during chemical reactions. Atoms are not created or destroyed during chemical reactions. Atoms are arranged to create new particles of substances. Try to sound as professional as I can. Mr. Jacobs is really awesome.